Hola, your favorite makeup artist, TanikaGreen.com, coming to you guys loud, live, and direct, and we're going to dive right on in. So right now, I am hydrating the skin. I'm also going to be using the Pond's Moisturizer. This is going to be a lot of makeup today, and I just want to make sure that once I get to the foundation portion, that it literally glides across my skin the way I need it to. So now we're going to go in with the NYX Cosmetic Glow With Me. I sort of stumbled across this illuminator um the color spoke to me and i said let's go for it let's see what it looked like against us brown skin girls and it was definitely a match for me and it will remain a staple in my kit and it's very affordable and i'm just really getting that into the skin making sure that it just melts um right on top of the skin so now going in with the brows we all know that brows shape the face um and I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Pomade. I've been using it for the past five years. I go for the color Granite and Ebony. Granite is to shape the brow. And Ebony is to fill in everything else from a little above the tail of the brow and forward. I could have went in with a third color, um, but I think that this would be good enough. And then once I use my Topi Brow Gel... It's going to create the brow that I want. Now, behind the scenes, it was definitely a lot of back and forth, but I managed to get sisters, if not fraternal twins. So I'm satisfied. Um, we're going to clean up the brow with the LA Girls Concealer. I am going to be using the Fawn. And I always say work really slow when you're doing this. Try and have a magnifying glass when you do it so you can see exactly what your placement is. The overall goal is to make the brow look as natural as possible or as beautiful as possible um, based on your liking. But you want to make sure that that line is very straight and very, very clean. So there was definitely a lot of back and forth um, behind the scenes. But I just wanted to give you guys the gist of what I was actually doing. And now we're going to do the top of the brow as well. It's not really needed, but since this is going to be such a bold look and so much makeup, I didn't want it something just a little bit thicker. So I'm also using the LA Girls Concealer and I'm using the color Beautiful Bronze. And I just, you know, want to make sure that it melts into the skin. This is the closest color um, to my skin. So I just wanted to make sure that I don't create a halo above the brow. So I use a darker concealer on the top of the brow. So now moving into the eyes, the first thing that I like to do when I'm using a bunch of colors is to put an eyeshadow base on. This eyeshadow base is going to be the Ploys eyeshadow base. I like to call it P. Louise because I just think P. Louise sounds so chic and so elegant, but it is Ploys Cosmetic. They're based in the UK and I'm putting this um, from the lid on up to the crease area um, just to make sure that when I start putting these colors that they're really going to pop. Not that they're not because Juvia's Place is really, really, really good, but I just wanted to pop just a little bit more because I'm going for a more daring look. So the two colors that I'm using right now is going to be from the Berries collection from Juvia's Palace. Um, it's the collection that she just dropped, the Berries, the Violet, the Chocolate, and the Nudes. And I'm using the two darkest colors in there. One is like a Cranberry Berry Eggplanty. The other one is like a um, Brick or Burgundy sort of color. And I'm going heavy in the inner and the outer corners of the eyes. Um, at this point, I'm trying to create the illusion that I have a bigger eye than what I do. Um, although the eye is not that bad, I have a hooded lid, which means that the skin sort of droops over the lids and it can really, uh, make a look disappear quickly. Um, so I'm just blending it out with the pink color, um, to soften the edges. And then I'm going to go in with a clean, small blending brush just to make sure that I leave some type of area around my brow bone or on top of my brow bone. So now I'm going in with the pinky color again that I use to blend out the darker colors. And I'm using a very small, uh, precise blending brush. It is from Juvia's Place. Um, I don't know what collection it is, but it's the blue brushes. Um, if you go onto the website and right now they are having a sale, um, 40% off using product code 
40 off so if you need to upload the kit this would be a fine time to actually do it now we're going to go with the nyx cosmetic liquid liner um, i absolutely love this liner i think it's like the extreme liner or something like that and now we're going to top it on with these uh beautiful lashes now one of the tricks to using mink lashes because the band is much thicker make sure you cut the lash a little smaller than your eye because they're going to be so long it's going to flare regardless and make sure that you have enough glue um, to match the thickness of the band and most and most importantly is to make sure that the glue is very very tacky so the first adhere to the lash line it will stick and then you can just adjust accordingly to your liking I swear lashes just sometimes sets the deal. And even though these are long, makeup is all an illusion. And I absolutely love it. And again, sorry for being out of focus right now. But I just wanted to make sure that it was all pinched in, you know, perfect. So now we're going in with the Juvia's Place Magic Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. This is my new foundation. This foundation is everything that I needed to be. This color is technically not everything that I needed to be. Um, I thought that this was really going to be a win, but uh, no concerns here. We're just going to cancel out a lot of the yellow that we see. So the colors that I'm going to use it for the Juvia's Place uh, Magic Concealer is going to be very cool colors. This one is number 13, I want to say. I'm going to use that directly under the eye. And then I'm going to go in with a taupey color. And I'm going to use that right below that, but still staying above the actual cheekbone. Um, because I still see so much yellow, I just want to make sure that I'm going to cancel it out um, with the cooler colors. Um, so that the look at the end won't come off yellow. So I, I forgot what color that was. Um, but this is going to go around the three of the face, which is what we're shaping. Higher cheekbones, smaller head, narrow nose. Uh, eliminate the fat from my neck. That would be amazing. Um, and then we're just going to start the process of blending this out. I'm going to blend out the contour areas first because I know that it's going to be a little dark. But again, this is going to be a bold look. And then I'm going to be able to take the lighter colors and sort of mesh it on top so that it will die down the boldness of the look. And I'm going to be doing that by using the fiber sponges that I absolutely, absolutely love. They work just as good as the beauty blender and they are definitely much, much, much cheaper. And prior to that, I was using the Real Technique uh, small blending brush and I'm just pretty much blending all of that in to the skin using a much smaller brush to contour my nose. Um, I don't need to contour my nose. I just like it to be very straight and just like button-like. So that's just a personal opinion of my own. Now we're going to go in and set all of this foundation and concealer. I usually go on my Sasha Buttercup, but because the look is already a little yellow, again, we're in the process of dying down some of the yellow that we see. So we're going to go in with the Medium Laura Mercier. We're going to put this all around the highlights of the face, which is the forehead, underneath the eyes, the nose, the, the lip, the chin. And then we're going to complement it by putting it underneath the jawbone, cheekbone, underneath the cheekbone, but above the jawbone, um, just to sort of shape the face. And you'll visibly see once I do that. You can sort of see it now, but you'll visibly able to see exactly how we're shaping the face and again i'm placing this based on my face shape um so if you do see this you don't have to put it exactly where i put it but just put it based on your face shape so now we're going to bring the color and start to shape the face and i'm using my pro sephora palette um this palette is just like a universal palette you can use it as eyeshadows blushes uh contour adding color bronzer they have it in light medium and dark you can get this from sephora as i said because it's the pro sephora and the price on this was 58 dollars. if you have some coupons or something i'm sure you can get a little um cheaper but it definitely goes a long way i wish the uh highlighted colors were a bit better um but they can definitely be used as a shadow rather than an illuminator on top of the cheekbone 
and now I'm just going to straighten out my nose just a little more just to again make it look like a button so now we're moving on and we're going to just finish up the eye and we're going to completely complete the shaping of the eye so I'm using the two darker colors as I used earlier and I'm creating a very thin line underneath with the Juvia's Place flat smudging brush and I'm packing those colors up there and then I'm going to use a um, softer smudging brush, a round smudging brush and use that same pinky color to soften it out. And sometimes you do have to go a little back and forth with the coloring, but I'm just making sure that I put a little more of that eyeliner in the eye because makeup does transfer. And that eyeliner is from Makeup Forever, if I'm not mistaken, it's their Aqua Collection pencils. And now we're just going to finish off the look with um, the lips. So I am using the Night Moth Lip Liner to shape the lip. This is definitely another staple in my kit. It is brown girl friendly and I, it goes beyond friendly for me. But, you know, this is definitely a lipstick for the brown girl, <laughs> a lip liner for the brown girl. And now I'm going to go in with one of my MAC lipsticks. I honestly do not know what the color of that lipstick was. I just knew that it was soft and pink enough to go with the overall look that I came up with. I didn't know what I was doing and now we're going to top it with um, a Charlene K lipstick or lip gloss pigmented lip gloss and it just kind of worked so I was very satisfied with this look I didn't know which direction I was going in because I don't normally wear colors like this um, I don't even do color looks like this but I always keep myself abreast to the new trends that are coming out so this is definitely a bold look and boom Yes, your girl has a lace front, or what they would say, a screen on her head. And I must say, I am feeling it. Yes, I did it myself. Took my time. And did it myself. Yes. So what do you guys think? <laughs>